It's a night Becky Smeetendorf can't remember, but her husband Jeremy can't forget. She doesn't remember being on her back and having, just choking on her own vomit. I have that burned into my brain. It was two months ago. Becky, on a mom's night out, went to a silent disco at the Ugly Dog Distillery in downtown Chelsea. Two hours and a few sips into her third drink, she knew something was off. When you're young and you're new to drinking, we've all had those experiences where, you know, you had a little too much to drink and you know what that feels like. This was like being on a completely different planet. The text to her husband showing how quickly her condition worsened, asking Jeremy to come pick her up at 1045 and five minutes later repeatedly texting for help. Becky lost consciousness and couldn't walk. Her husband took her to the ER, suspecting she had been drugged, but the hospital wasn't equipped to test at that time. Even at that time, they didn't take the drugging seriously, and that's kind of part of the awareness. Like, maybe they kind of did, but they, everyone just kind of chalks it up to drinking too much. That's what everyone assumes. The Smeetendorfs believe Becky was drugged with GHB. They made a police report, and since then, other potential victims have come forward with similar stories from the same distillery. No criminal charges have been pressed, but Chelsea police say the investigation continues. I feel really pulled uh, by just the, the trauma of the situation to spread awareness as far as I can because we've got to break the silence on this stuff. Now, Chelsea police are giving reminders this morning to always be aware and never leave food or drinks unattended. But if you think that something has been put in your food or drink, talk to someone you know and let them know right away. Do not go anywhere alone or with anyone you don't know and seek medical care right away. And of course, alert the law enforcement agency where you believe that incident occurred. Very scary situation. Oh, it sounds so frightening. And you were saying that she does not blame the ugly dog distillery. No. No, but she wishes they would be more upcoming and at least address the situation. She feels that they haven't done that, but she doesn't blame them for this situation. All right. Well, thank you so much for bringing us her story. And hopefully this is a warning for other folks and will prevent it from happening to them. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Kier.